Hello and welcome back to the Feed the Beast Skies Minecraft Mod Pack. This is episode 8 and today we're going to focus on the refined storage system and getting it up and running step by step, a tutorial how to get the, the basic stages of it up and running so that it's easy to use. And what it looks like is this right here. All these components, just these, and that little thing back there make up refined storage and it makes it so much easier. Now you can do stuff like this. Let's say I want to make blocks of this. I can just get up, bring up the recipes, find the white run, you can do it that way either way, and away. <laughs> there it is. And then I can just make blocks of it just like that. Just toss it right back in the system. I don't have to grab things. If I want to do this, let's say I take a stack of that, clear this out, I could just do it this way too. And throw that right back in the system. Much easier. So we're going to show you how to do every step of this very quickly, very easily, very smoothly. Quickly, I don't know about because it is a lot of different steps and there's a lot of little intricacies to getting up and running, but it's easier than you might think. Well, let's get into it. The first thing I do is we're going to break this whole system apart so you can see how I built it. We're going to take the crafting grid. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Should be it. Oh, it's probably on the grid. We're going to take this, and I'm going to go over each each little part. The lever. This relay is kind of neat. That way you can disconnect your whole system and just see what's in the storage system. And I'll explain that as well. External storage, very important part. Sounds like it broke, but it didn't. We're going to leave this hole in the floor, and we're going to start going over all of these pieces. The old way of crafting is, you know, you'd open up something like this, and then you'd look up the recipe, and you'd get a stick and that, and you'd put it in there. But the new way is so much better, it's so much smoother. So let's go, let's see how we can pull this off. We do know that it's going to need power, so what I've done is, I'll just drop down to the basement. I made a basement. That way I can look up from underneath and uh, extend stuff down here as well. So, we're going to need power, so this combustion generator feeds into this battery. And we're going to put the first item, this controller, right on top of that. But how do we make a controller? And it's going to be three basic parts to this refined storage system. A controller, a crafting grid, and a disk drive. And some um, disks that go in here to hold the, the data for the storage. So let's go over the first thing, a controller. Right away, you look at this and you're like, uh-oh. What about this? Oh boy. So let, let's see this. Quartz iron, or enriched iron. Easier than I thought. Your recipes may be different, but then you're going to go like this, and you're going to make stacks of this. I just grab a few stacks. You should have plenty of resources at this point. So that's easy. So we know how to do this. We know how to do this. What about this cable? Uh-oh, we're right back to these again. So this looks like a sticking point. So let's go I'm going to press A to put it up here, and then we're going to find out how to make this. Oh boy, doesn't look good, doesn't look good. Maybe an enrichment chamber? No. In-world transformation. Hmm, that's interesting. This can be water. Those, those, and those turns into these. Hmm, so we, how do we make these? We know how to, we, those are easy. What about this thing? Okay, I've seen these before. No problem. How do we make these? There's two ways. You could go down the create way, but this is a, a difficult thing to do, and I'll be doing this, uh, showing you how to automate this step in the next episode. But um, it's quite uh, quite difficult. The recipe for that oh boy, is this, and in, uh, to show you where it is, I uh, just set it all up. It's right over here. We don't want to go this route because it's complicated. You got to set up all these machines to do it. So don't look at any of that. Ugh, a mess. <laughs> Let's go back to this way. So we don't we don't want to do we don't want to make those this way. These right here, the charged certus quartz crystals. We want to make them with this uh, charger thing. Now it's boring, but <laughs> they're easy to make. The charger's easy to make, and you need a crank, no problem. And what you do is you just pop it in over here. See this? I put a little reminder. One of those turns into one of these. 
And you might want to make a few extra cranks because as you're cranking along, you might get a little sleepy. It's pretty boring. You're going to have to make like a stack of these. So you're going to have to do this 64 times. If you over crank on this thing, see how it's charging up? It'll actually break and just disappear that. So I've got a couple extra sitting over there. Sure enough, there we go. We got a quartz. So we want to turn this into these. So let's find out how to do that. It said we could just go right up to a, uh, we're going to take a stack of these now that we've gr uh, made a bunch through the charger. We're going to take a stack of that, the nether quartz, and the redstone. We're going to go right over to a pool of water. Watch out for the broom. And I'm just going to toss them in like this. One. A whole stack. Then I back up a little bit. Oh boy. Then I back up a little bit. Careful. And look at it. It goes crazy. And just make sure it lets get it all done. Otherwise you'll have weird pieces left over. And now we have two stacks of that. Beautiful. Now, <laughs> you, that step's going to take you a little longer because you're going to have to hand crank all those things. Let's go on to the next step. So the next step to making this is, we'll look at the pieces. we got to make this, but how do we make that cable? Oh, well, we got to make these things. We don't have the enriched iron, so let's make a stack of that. We'll do, we'll just take that many. Just set them right up here. Easy stuff. So we go back, just like that. One cable. Uh, we'll do that many cables. You can do as many as you want. And then we're going to make this little machine casing and we need the quartz enriched let's see if we can do it. We gotta actually do it there just like that I'm gonna make I'll make two of these machines because I'm just gonna talk these are extras for me and then we have enough to make that so we've done the controller that that easily I'm not gonna make a second now, the next thing we're going to look for is this crafting grid. So let's take a look at that recipe. Mm, it's a little, little interesting right off the bat. I'm going to put this right at the beginning over here so I have a reference to it. And I'm going to put this one there as well. So this is a crafting grid. needs a grid. We know how to make those. How do we make these? Oh, boy. We're going to keep on going back deeper and deeper. Now, this gets a little bit complicated. We know how to, we have diamonds and we have redstone. That's not a problem. But how do we make this processor binding? Ah, string and the slime balls. The slime balls we get from dirt, I believe. Let's see. Nope. Sand through the water log. And if you haven't done that, you just take a regular bucket. Let's take a bucket and to water log one of these. It's very easy. You don't even have to do it. You can just put it right on there. It's actually pretty nice. Just like that, it's waterlogged. And then you'd put the, right back to it, you'd put sand through the mesh, and you get tons of slime balls. I'll probably put some through there right now. Let's do that. Let's find some sand. Oh, I got a lot. Let's go like that. There we go. Now it's working on some sand. was to make making this we want this advanced processor we got to cook one at just one of these so we do this okay so we can make that now we know how to craft it what about this other little thing here what about a printed silicon hmm. so we're gonna have to make an inscriber so let's take a look at the recipe for that that's easy to make sticky piston same way so go ahead and make an uh, uh, inscriber, and then you're going to make one of these silicon uh, inscriber presses. That's easy to do on a smithing table, and this is easy to do with certus quartz. Smithing table is right over here, and that's how you do it. And upstairs, I hooked up, don't look, this is just temporary mess, I hooked up, there's the calculation press, this one right here. This is what allows me to um, make these. So I just put this in here. Let's see if I actually have it. <laughs> the press. I put that in there. 
I put that in there, and we get these. Just like that. We know how to do all that, and we get tons of those. And that gives us that gives us that. Cook that, turns it into an advanced processor. And sure enough, you're going to have all the components, these two so far, just to make a grid. And a grid's the easy part. You're going to just follow the same thing. You're going to make a construction core again to make a regular grid, not a, so we're shooting for a crafting grid. That's easy. We know how to make that. There's the quartz enriched. What about this? It's a little bit different. A basic processor. Basic processors that way with iron there. So you can, this is easy stuff. You should be able to do this. And then gold. You're going to make a few of these just to get to the point where you're going to make a crafting grid. You make the grid, put it all together, and now you have the crafting grid. So if you don't, uh, if you need to, just go ahead and uh, go back a little bit. But this is pretty simple crafting. What about a disk drive? Advanced processor, we know how to make that. We know how to make this. And here's the quartz enriched. We're in good shape. This this should be simple for you by this point now. Another cable, easy. Let's go downstairs. And we could actually kind of hook this thing up almost. So let's put um let's put this up here. Let's kind of get organized a little better here. Put that away, put these away. Let's take a look at what we have in our inventory. We'll even put our bucket away. And we'll set that there for now. These are the components that we're going to be using. So, how do we set it up to make it go? <laughs> well, we're going to need one of those. We're going to need an external storage. I use a relay, but you could use a cable to connect it as well. The relay is kind of important, though. Let's, let's find out how to make the external storage. We know how to make all these components. That one, that one, and that one. I would actually rush to get to this point because it's that important. It makes it so much easier. Wireless transmitter, that we can make. Okay. And a relay. Machine casing, cable, easy stuff. So let's put this whole thing together. Here we go. We're going to start off and I have my combustion generator feeding the battery. That's going to give us plenty of power because this thing does take power. We're going to shift right click. Sure enough, it powers itself up. Great. In the middle here, I like putting this right here and I shift and I hold a right click onto the side of this so it pops up like that. And we're going to put our disk drive right there. Perfect. On the back of this, I like putting the little receiver thing just poking out there so that that allows us to do uh, wireless work and we'll get into that in the next episode as well that's going to be a uh, really advanced for this issue so right now nothing is in here you're like what's going on this is not, any, it's not really very cool <laughs> there's nothing in here we just got to connect it up to our whole system let's do that we're going to put the exporter right on the front of this so i just shift right click right onto the front of that and then you could put a cable in here and connect it well, let's do that. Let's find out. Let's do a cable. Should be able to make it. Oh, there's one cable. We could do it this way, but I'll I'll show you why it's important to do it the other way. There's a cable. So now if I look in here, all of our stuff is in there. Now we don't have anything. Uh, we don't have any storage. Like uh, if I try to put this in here, it's not going to work. See, I can't click it in there because there's no. There's no empty storage over here. So right now I'm looking at this and I'm gonna wa I want to do another thing right here. On the priority on this external storage, I'm gonna put it up to 10. Higher the higher will be it'll be its preference for storage. So if you have a one or a zero and push set, now if if you put stuff in here, it'll prefer to go into this before it goes into your storage. So far, we have a system that's technically working, but only with the stuff back there. So let's do this. We're going to give this whole system some internal storage, and that's through the disk drives. 
I made a bunch of 64K disk drives. You probably won't be to this point because they take a lot of, um, you gotta make a storage housing for the disk drive. This part, that's easy to make, but the problem is these things are very complicated. These take a bunch of these, these take a bunch of those, etc. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the easier ones, the 4K storage parts, because the basic processor is easy to make. And you're gonna make these right here. You can you can increase it and go for the 64K, but you could do eight of these and have 32K of storage. So let's make a bunch of those. We know how to do this, we've done this before. Easy stuff, Certus, through the cooking the Certus course, you have this stuff from sifting, from auto sifting. And then you're gonna put that, let's see, with a storage thing to make an actual 4K storage disk. And then we just open this up, and we put them in there. Now, one of these has data in it. See this, this has my stuff in it already. So I put that in there. And then it shows you how much your total disk space is and how much we're using. Pretty cool. Now let's say, so now when I open it up, let's say I want to put, um, let's say, let's see, something that's not in there. All those things are stored, but things that aren't in there, I don't want to put that in. Oh, let's just drop it in. See, now I can actually drop those in. And we can search for it to get it back. Range upgrades, where are they? Right there. So I want to put these in. So let's do a little neat test. If I break this one, and then I put this in here. Now it's connected. Nothing's changed. Everything's still there. I can put stuff in, take stuff out, and I have access to here. But what if, this is really cool, if I put, put that down there, and I turn this off, now I don't have access to all of that stuff. And you'd think, well, why, is, well why, why would you want that? You want access. Well, occasionally you want to check to see if you're like, you've got a lot of stuff that's stacking up to really bloat. Let's say you had 5,000 of these. Well, you'd probably want to make a storage drawer for them because then it takes away 5K of your, your storage here. So you'd make a drawer and move it over there. And that's why it's, it's just easy to see where stuff is stored. That's everything. That's not, That's just that. It's really a handy, I, I just like doing it. Another thing we're going to be doing is upgrading this right here. We right click on it, it shows the, uh, this only wirelessly works 16 blocks away. We're going to put the upgrades in there. Now this will work 48 blocks away. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to be building this is a complete system. The only problem is I have to come all the way over here to use it. And, you know, that's nice and all. I can just throw everything in here. I can go like this and filter it by refined storage with the at symbol. If you put refined, then it'll only show things that are from the refined storage mod. Pretty cool. But um, I don't want to have to run back and forth. So what I did was, oh boy, this was tough. What I did was... Slot. I want to be able to sit there and go work on this thing wirelessly. Well, how would I do that? I want to be able to access this over here. And not only that, but if, if you tie a key to it, to this wireless universal grid, you can put it in your curio slot. This also needs to be charged. It takes, um, it takes uh, energy, so let's go do that. It takes like two seconds charged up. You can put this in your curio slot. Any one of them. I, it, it's weird. I can just put them in any of them. Now, if I push the C key, wherever I am, I can access that as long as it's within 48 blocks of this thing. Now, what you can also do is put cables under the ground, put a cable way over there, and put one of these for, with, with the range extenders on it. And now you'll be able to cover 48 from that one, that spot over there as well. Pretty cool. But we want to figure out how to make this thing. And oh boy, was this uh, interesting. Right away, <laughs> you have to make a, a fluid one. Now that's really important. If you're going to go down this route, I'm going to go over a whole video on how to make this thing. The wireless fluid and the wireless grid, two different things. Make sure you get one of each. We come to this. 
sure enough, we're right back at a bunch of these. It's a lot. And then this is that with more of them. And then these energy cells, sure enough, are a bunch of these things. So I, I was looking at a, another stack, and I really didn't want to sit there and put them through and do all that. So I wanted to go with this route. Let's uh, pull this thing up, put this thing away. I wanted to go where I could just walk up with these, stack of them, and pop it down on top of here. This Tesla coil is just going to churn and knock those out for me. Look how fast that goes. Well, <laughs> to pull this off to make that Tesla coil, I had to make all these machines. So I'm going to do an episode on that, clean all this up so I don't... I mean, look at this. This is terrible. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to clean this up and make it a nice, smooth episode to show you how to make one of these, show you how to make this thing, and maybe work on it a little bit better. But it, it was so cool when this Tesla coil right here came spinning out and chewed out and popped out of this. It was all animated. So I'll be doing that in, an, in the next episode as well. But I hope this helped. And now I have access to all my stuff wherever I want. I can run way over here. I also found these things. These are cool. If you stand on these things, they drop you in there. Oh, and it drops you down. And then they pop back up. And you can try, climb up on them. And then if you sit there, It'll push you down so that you have to crawl. Now I'm crawling. So you can technically put these next to some little, like um, some wiring, and if you have to crawl down in there, I don't know. Kind of interesting. I liked them. But now I'm way over here, let's say, and I want to make. I just want to put these things in my into my system. There it is. It's way over there. It still works. It's beautiful. Pretty cool. I also upgraded. Um, this to a uh, a range of nine way back there because they weren't reaching all the way back here now it reaches all the way back here plants all that stuff looks like that maybe needs some work don't know why but I'll fix it this is working smoothly now tons of products tons of uh tons of flax everything's in good shape extras of all this pretty cool so i hope this helped and enjoy if this stuff if uh <laughs> look at all these guys if this does help you guys please go ahead and subscribe or comment the comments really um are, are cool too because then i can um if you have any questions i can just uh answer them right there huh. pretty neat and i gotta clean all this up lots to clean up and make nice again like this whole area up here unacceptable <laughs> I mean, it's effective and it and it's working, but I really want to clean it up. I I even moved my uh. Where is that guy jumping around? Is he up there? There he is. He's stuck up there. What did he do? How did he get up there? Let's, let's help him, or maybe I can just keep him as a friend. I don't think so. <laughs> Dropped everything through here, into here, into there. Don't know. Oh, there it is, right up there. Hello, ramp. What did we get? Oh, increases the length of invincibility after taking damage. Well, okay, sounds good to me. This back. We'll put that in our system. I moved the tree farm down here. Now it's not as efficient as, you know, as nice as all surrounding one. But uh, what I did was I just put it four in a row like that with the block placers and the extruders and the extractors all working on one piece. And a big stack of that comes right down because you're going to need a lot of this. It's either 100 or 100. It's some ridiculous number of buckets that you need for um, one of the quests. Pretty cool. Nice stuff. And I'm going to expand this to make it a 9 instead of just 1 so you don't have to, you know, I don't want to have to hit exactly that spot. So I like it when it's a little bit bigger. That way you can just jump up and down easier. 
And we're going to pop this right here so I don't forget about it. It's my cool things to work on. I found that uh, that uh, uh, umbrella came, and it actually you can float in the air with it. Kind of like glide. You can work, use it as a shield. Pretty cool. This thing was from a wandering trader. It looks ominous. Not sure what it does. And let's put this back in our system. Beautiful. And then if I want to make some string, I can just make string. And if I want to do that, I can do that and that and that and that. And then we have that. Beautiful stuff. Like it. Have a good one and enjoy. Well, I've been working on this task too. All kinds of quests. Oh boy. Lots of stuff.